Okay, so my project looks at neo-futurism. These are a couple of examples here by Chris Sevis. Uh, and basically what we're going to try and recreate is the uh, low poly style that he is using here. Uh, low poly or cubism is usually the term that they use uh, to describe some neo-futurism works. So first of all, we'll grab whatever photo we want here. We're gonna convert this to low poly. I have a strawberry. We're going to use the polygonal lasso tool to get a rough outline and basically we don't want to be too precise and we just want to get these kind of jagged uh, corners here and that will suit the low poly style better and once we're done here what we're going to do is we're going to apply a layer mask to crop all this stuff out once we're finished getting the leaves here, get a rough outline. There. We got our outline, we mask, and then next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're on this here, not on the mask. Uh, and then we're going to zoom in maybe a little bit, select from the tip here. I like to work from the outside, you don't have to make like a triangle or a square or some kind of shape like that and then basically we're going to go up to filter blur average and there we go we get the average color that was in there and we, we once we keep doing this going along and averaging and we can do a shortcut here uh, alt Control f to make this faster uh, once once we go along and we do this for everything so making sure we're getting smaller triangles, larger triangles, or smaller shapes and uh, larger shapes, get a nice variety, get a nice variety of colors. Uh, we're eventually going to get a nice low poly picture here. You can already see it's starting to take shape, but for speed's sake, I'm just gonna skip and say, oh, look at this, nice low poly strawberry. So this, was, this took a little bit of work. No matter what, this technique is going to take a little bit of time. You're just gonna need to keep repeating this process Control alt f uh, selecting your shapes, so maybe you don't have to do the, the triangle shape here, you can do another shape, like maybe that's an interesting shape there. That can still be considered low poly and it'll look really nice. Uh, let's see what I did here, there's a couple of shapes like this one here, that is not a triangle, and this is a really nice example of a low poly strawberry. So. That's one method of doing it, and it takes a little bit of time, which is why I skipped that. Uh, another method is you can go under filter here, uh, and you can go to filter gallery. And once we're under filter gallery, there's a couple of different options. There's quite a few options actually under here, but there's only a few that really work well for this low poly style. So one of them that uh, I figured out through other tutorials was the cutout. Cutout makes it so that you can reduce the amount of detail in the image here. So the number of levels is basically uh, how many colors and stuff you want, how many color levels that you want in the image. So I, I figure about a good number or good amount is six here. Uh, edge simplicity, so the detail, you can get a lot of detail and keep that detail or you can reduce that to next to nothing and you can get some really interesting images out of this if you just play around with it but for our purposes I think this is probably a good low poly strawberry edge fidelity changes a little bit just a little bit of the details on the edges but it doesn't change too much usually you want to keep this low here so that's one of the options that we could do another option is also the palette knife option so I just figured uh, this out just from playing with the filters here but uh, the stroke size, if you keep it low, and you keep the stroke detail relatively low, you can get some nice polygonal shapes here. They're not quite uh, triangles necessarily, but they kind of still fit that style. Also, if you get some weird colors, you can of course just use the eraser tool, get that out of there. But yeah, this is a nice quick way of doing low poly if you don't want to spend the time going and doing it manually. So here we have a nice strawberry, we could even add some more shapes in here if we wanted to.